thought I would come outside today and record this intro. So <laughs> Marie Louise and I have decided for this week's challenge to each other that we are going to do one swipe. That was all the parameters that we gave each other. Now this week we are also joined by Michael. So the three of us just have 10 minutes, which should be plenty of time since we're just doing the single swipe. I have a tile here and I'm going to do a bloom. I know, I haven't done a bloom in probably years now that I think about it. So my paints, my pillow's gonna be uh, PPG Multi Pro in eggshell. My paints up till here, I have a mixture of cadmium red deep hue and primary and primary red. Um, I have uh, TLP Twinkle. I have PBO Studio Acrylics in iridescent blue black. I have again TLP in Mermaid. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue green. And I have Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple. I've got two cell activators. My white is Atelier um, Titanium White and my black is Amsterdam Limp Black. So uh, the challenge for this week was to do one swipe. So I'm going to attempt to do a spin swipe in a blue. And if it doesn't work out, we'll see. My consistency of my paints is a little off, I feel, so this could be interesting. And I think I'm just going to... dump a bunch of paint on here. Focused especially in the center. Let's get the lovely twinkle on. I haven't made a ginormous mess in a while, so this should be fun. Get a little bit more. So I have two, three tubies actually, and two, one, two, three, four, five, yes, and two um, pigments. And the red should be the predominant color. Usually the base color is the predominant one and the color at the top as well. Put that, and drizzle these on. This is really a ton of paint. You wouldn't normally add so much paint onto a bloom. But as I'm doing a spin swipe, I want to make sure that I do have plenty there. Okay. My cell activator is mixed two to one, two parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. Um, I guess I'm gonna do black first, then white, which means I gotta put the white down first and then put the black on. So there's my white. I'm just gonna Maybe do a drizzle. Do a drizzle with the black. All right, wish me luck. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. Okay.
Oh, uh -ho -ho. I'm going to do a dance here. Spin that a little more. All right, it's time to, it's so sad to scoop up these, uh, the paint and the cells. Because they look so darn good. Now, I wonder if I can get more in here. A few more are opening up. Peacock. Peacock's in through here too, and some fine lacing, so that's pretty cool. This part here. So I'm going to move my um, tile off that way. And I'm not gonna spin very hard. I'm going to spin gently. I can't tell you the number of tiles I've had fly off my spinner. I think I my record was three in one video. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that was a that was a fun time. <laughs> You see how the paint is coming off this way? So I got most of that darkness off. Yep, I think that's done. That is a done tile. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, here it is. What do you think of that? Look at that shimmer and shine from both of the TLPs that I used. I am loving it. Okay. Marie Louise, thank you for the challenge for this week. And um, if you haven't caught her, the link for her video is in the playlist below. Also, um, Michael is joining us this week from Michael Makes Art, and his link will also be in the description below. All right, thanks so much for being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button, set notifications to all, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.